All right, guys, time to open up the door to the weather classroom every morning at 50 past the hour. We're going to share a little weather wisdom with you by answering your questions about the weather. Today's question comes from Jim. Hey, Jim. He asks, I understand how hurricane and tornadoes generate their devastating winds, but how is a derecho generated? Okay, we just had one yesterday that came all the way down to the Gulf Coast from Kansas and just fanned itself out. Progressive or serial, we'll get into that in, in explanation number two. Let's just talk about a derecho. All right, in fact, the storms that slammed the southern plains and parts uh, of uh, the south yesterday was a derecho. Uh, here it is, by definition, from the glossary of meteorology, the AMS glossary, long-lived thunderstorm complex with particularly strong winds, a swath of greater than 50 mi 58 mile per hour winds extending for more than 250 miles, it sure did that, and no more than 2.5 hours between successive reports of high winds, and a lot of times, these derechos can pulse because they go up and they regather themselves and pulse on down again. So how do you get these? I mean, you start with a cluster of thunderstorms and they can be widely scattered. Then they start pooling their inflows. We kind of wind up with this big thunderstorm complex. But typically uh, with a system that's this big, now you've got something where the rain cooled air behind it is kind of driving the leading edge of it. All right, it's driving it down to the south. There also can be a little bit of a jet stream on the backside of this. And sometimes what happens is these derechos get tall enough and stay bubbly enough so that you tap into some of those stronger winds. And this thing just keeps going and going and going, sometimes for several hundred miles. So the complex actually grows and widens. It fans out and just makes its way uh, really until the wind flow or the, or, or the updrafts and downdrafts kind of stop maintaining themselves. So storms packing some strong winds and they can often be devastating even more more than a tornado, believe it or not. All right, so we had storms in the Southern Plains uh, this week that were a derecho. Winds gusted to over hurricane force. You remember that in Texas? We had hail, hail as big as softballs in Chickasha, Oklahoma. And uh, let's talk about how this storm system panned out. Again, this was just uh, Tuesday, all right? We watched these storms starting to blow up over Kansas, right in through here. And look at here, here come the wind reports. All right, boom, and look at, and look at what else happens. Notice how wide this gets. Yesterday morning when we were on the air, this thing was over 550 miles wide at its longest length. So a progressive derecho, believe it or not. What weather do you want to gain some wisdom about? Send us your questions on social media, either by tagging AMHQ or using the hashtag weatherwisdom, and we will answer them every day at 50 past the hour.